hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and also right beside it is a little bell go ahead and turn that on so you don't miss any of my uploads now today I'm just gonna jump right into the video because I'm getting ready to go to church but I really wanted to test out the Colourpop no filter concealer and I have three different shades right here I originally ordered two um, the 60 and the 40 because I figured you know for highlights I can use a 60 when I just want to do a regular highlight which is this one right here and when I want to go really ham on my highlight I could use 40 which is this one right here but when they send it to me they actually send me 65 which is this shade right here so I informed them and they you know said it was their mistake because they checked the receipt and seen that I actually ordered 60 and 40 so they just resent me back the 60 and they didn't ask me to send back the 65 so I end up with three shades right here I'm just gonna go ahead and test them on my chest here I saw Jackie Ina here on YouTube do that and I thought it was you know a pretty good idea seeing that my chest is more like my face than my hands are I'm gonna start off with 65 which is the darkest one that I have swipe it right there I'm gonna use it as my foundation then I'm going to show you 60, which I thought would be a good match to highlight with on the days that I don't want to do too much. Probably the same color as, um, or maybe a little bit lighter than my own skin color. I'm going to show you guys 40. It's a little bit bright but when you once you blend them out they're not this bright so they probably will oxidize I don't know but I know when you blend it out into the foundation um, it doesn't show up this bright on you and I also went ahead and color correct and I use the NYX um, color corrector I'm gonna go ahead and set my face a little bit with some translucent powder to set that concealer in place so if you find that your concealer not your concealer to set the corrector in place and I'm using the cozy translucent powder for my face primer today I use the elf poreless face primer pretty much done now so I really like this and it was really inexpensive and it really does a nice job of blurring the skin you don't want to put too much powder but you want to go ahead and just lock it in place I'm gonna go ahead with 65 and just put it all over as you guys can see the 65 has a really red undertone so I definitely could not use this to highlight and I figured as much that's why I didn't order it and it dries really quick so that's why you see I'm kind of rushing to blend it out and it really looks kind of crazy right now I don't know if I did the right thing and I don't have any time to change this so I'm gonna have to make it work so that's how it's looking right now guys I know it, it's really looking kind of oompa loompa right now um, because it's so orange rather it be dark than orange but um, as I said I did not order this I'm gonna go with the 60 which is the one that I ordered and see if I can balance this out And I'm gonna change from the flat brush and I'm gonna use my elf um, bl ultimate blending brush so this is looking way better it blends out beautifully and you can definitely see that you can layer it up because this is two concealer now on my skin is the 65 and the 60 and I actually like the color match with both of them mixed together now I'm gonna go in with 40 and I'm just gonna highlight under my eye and all the places that I would normally highlight I'm 
um, another tip from Jackie Aina to let your concealer kind of sit so when you blend it it doesn't like blend away into nothing but it actually shows up I'm just gonna go ahead and blend these out as you guys see there that's 40 so on my skin here it looks really bright but under the eye when it mix in it doesn't show up as intense and bright here so it is creasing under my eye a little bit so you definitely have to set it I'm gonna use my Sasha buttercup to set As per usual, I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony. I'm using it to bronze up my face and also to, you know, be my contour as well. So while the powder is baking under my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. I'm just going to do a wing and just put on some mascaras and I'll be right back, guys, because I'm going to church. I'm not doing too much with the eyes, okay? So this is the finished look. I'm all ready and it's now 11 o'clock it's time for me to actually head out and go to church now so just want to show you the finished look everything is just really simple and just clean and this is pretty much how I wear my makeup to church and again I have on all three of the Colourpop no filter concealer I have 60 65 and 40 so this is it we'll see you when I get back from church how it wears but so far absolutely love it looks flawless um, in my opinion of course let me know what you think in the comment section I just have on a black blazer this is from Primark and the blouse is also from Primark I did it in my recent haul. I'll link it below if you guys haven't seen it. And then I just have on a uh, black um, trousers from H&M. So I'm off now, guys, and I'll see you when I get back from church. Okay, guys, so I just got back in from church. Um, it pretty much was a full day at church today, and I took my time coming home. Anyhow, so I left about 11, and now it's like 3 o'clock, so roughly... Um, about four hours since I've been wearing this um, concealer I definitely think that these um, Colourpop no filter concealer is worth the hype um, face basically look like a filter without a filter I think it just looks beautiful I'm not too oily or anything for four hours that's just my highlight the only thing I did notice um, right at my nose here it did break up a little bit and my smile lines here um, I can see this side is fine but this side is breaking up a little bit that could be because I didn't set it um, well enough or something but everywhere else on my face is pretty much flawless um, from what I'm looking at under my eyes didn't crease or didn't break up at all and that is my trouble area so I tend to really look for breakage there more than anywhere else very pleasantly surprised for these concealer only to be six dollars and you can wear it as a foundation and you can wear it as a highlight and a concealer so um very happy no complaints here definitely recommend it as i said when i got mine they were on sale so i got mines for four dollar ten or four twenty somewhere around that line but originally the price is only six dollars so you definitely can't beat that it has um four grams in it so i think that is a pr pretty good amount for what you're paying so highly recommend these guys if you're interested and if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and just go ahead and hit that bell right beside the subscribe so you're notified as soon as i do a video bye guys